another edition, my peoples, on the Crate Podcast with Archie Santana. I got a special guest today, my man, Cash Life June. Cash Life shit, man. Cash Life June. Uh, look, man, um, listen, man, this guy, man, he's incredible, man. He's doing a, a million things, champ, that a million people are not doing out here, man. And that's um, being responsible, right? Okay, um, I'm going to give Cash Life June, I'm going to give you the mic for a minute, man, and let you tell the people something about yourself. Shit, Caroline June, man, 24 years old. I got a family, man. Cad Life, got a personal family, businessman, entrepreneur, hustler. Man, you name it, I'm there. You feel me? So, like, come from the east side, though. You know, the caterer is greater. She catch me in Stone Mountain, probably caught me in. Got them. I thought you. Uh, Scott Dale adopted me, bro, for real, for real. So, Glenwood, McAfee. Um, and that's me, you feel me? Scott Dale made me who I am, so, shit, we gonna take it from there, man. Man, shout outs, man. Great shout outs, man. Listen, man, let me ask you a question, man. If you had to ask yourself, man, growing up, man, if you had to ask yourself, what male figure, um, hustling wise, um, a grinding entrepreneurship, had most effect on your life and why? And what age was this when you found this out? Shit. You gotta be one? I mean, you know, so it's your mic. Well, probably a couple, probably some right next to me, some from a distance. I really ain't had no OG goddamn, you know what I'm saying, showing me the ropes and shit. But I did learn from a couple people that took me to my own recipe. So, shit, my mama, husband, you know what I'm saying, taught me a couple shit entrepreneur-wise. Um, rappers taught me some shit, Future, Snoop, Nipsey, uh, Lucci. That boy, little baby, feel me? Taught me a lot of shit. How to put it in my recipe. And that's part. That's probably it. You know what I'm saying? My dad was in the chain game, so that took some time from back down showing me how to really move hands on. But when he came home, we got down, got right, and shit, I'm me today. So he made me me. And wow, man, it's um interesting that you spoke about um your father being incarcerated, man. Um. Uh, uh, would you like to, you know, share a little something about that, man? Was that too personal? Sure. You know, uh, what age was Everybody you? Everybody got man? a family to feed, you feel me? So, shit, they need to do what they got to do, you know what I'm saying? Generation after generation, especially as black. So, with that being said, I was like, got down six months. Six months, my daddy gone. Twelve years of my life, gave him 15, you know what I'm saying? He did three in prison. Three pro- I mean, he did, fit- he did 12 prison. Three probation, I mean parole, I'm sorry. Did that, and shit, just made me who I am, you know what I'm saying? I talked to him and go see him, but that was just for the moment. So I just took what I can from that shit and just put it into my life and move how I move today. You know, um, that, you know, that's a, uh, that's a recording, man, that's in so many families in our, in our lower income, you know, um, developments all across the United States of America, man. Um, single uh, households or um, being in a household with your mother and possibly her mate, you know, whether it being a stepfather, but it, there's nothing like, you know, um, me being a, a new father at a late age. There's nothing like uh, being there with your child. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, those still moments, you know what I'm saying? Those moments that you never catch, you never catch again. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, just being a parent, man, it's like, you know, I take that so serious, man. And, you know, we can hear, you know, I've heard the pain, you know, um, just, you know, in a short span of speaking to you, man, just how that can affect you. You know, you have to push on. You can't stay in the moment. Sure. But you have to push on. How did you get, you know, past, you know, was there any... Was there ever any reservation or anger towards your father? So, shit, I feel like it was, in a way, elementary. Third grade, I can remember. Shit, I went juvenile, so when I, the reason I told him, I'm like, shit, I need my dad. But 
I just went to juvenile for a couple of hours, but them couple of hours showed me everything I need to know as far as hands-on. Like, bro, that was a hell of a nine hours. You That's feel not me? what you want to do. Hell no. Nah. Wow. So that just showed me that That's where I want to be. I want to be free, man. So I just move how I move today. You feel me? And ambitions. I just I'm trying to break generational curse. I'm gonna break generational wow. curse. Wow. So ain't even I'm trying. You feel me? That's good stuff, man. You know, um, you know, and that's that's amazing that you speak about um generations. At the dinner generations, you know, how am I supposed to know what you what to say, unless you tell me what to think? Right. You know, and being a product of our environments, man, is it's such a great fall, man. But it's guys like you, you know, and getting back to Cash Life, June, right? Mm -hmm. You know, your AKA, right? Um, mm -hmm. You know, that's a powerful movement that y'all have, you know, going on, well, man. Um, Hands on the community, man. Um, what do you have coming up, man? And what are you doing for the people, man? We got an East event coming up next week, uh, April 9th. Start at 3 p.m. Cedar Street in Scottsdale, Georgia. Um, we just doing for the people, giving back, man. You feel me? Like stuff that we always wanted as kids. Shit, we just doing that now. We got, you know what I'm saying, the funds and everything goes in between to do that. So that's what we're going to do. Wow. I mean, was there a part of your childhood? I mean, that made you what? What made you gear towards giving back to the community? You know, that shit, my heart, bro, my heart, pure. Like I'm heaven sent, so I'm just sent down here to do my job. This shit ain't nothing about I want this back, I want that back. Whatever I do, that shit out my heart. That shit purity. So that's what I did. Well, um, I like to say myself that you know, um, I'm not into religion, but I'm a spiritual uh, individual, man. I hear a lot of spirituality. And your words of um, speaking uh, at such a young age, man. Um, what's your take, man, as far as your spirituality? You know, I mean, if you had to describe yourself, how you're traveling in life, how would you um, describe yourself? Shit, I feel like my grandma molded me. So I was raised, you know what I'm saying, half partially with my grandma. So she molded me spiritually. She Christian. So I ain't going to sit here and say I'm Christian, but you feel me? I just took what I can from her and took it into my journey and made me who I am today. So spiritually, I'm just connected to my higher power. I know I got an answer to one higher power when I leave this earth. So that's what I'm answered to. So I just carry myself the way my grandma molded me and it made me me and it seems like it's working. So pretty much that's where your values and your principles, morals came from, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's a, yeah, you have an old spirit, man. You know, it's like, you know, you, you seem above your years, man, because of uh, how you're approaching life. Sure. You know, I guess that's a that's a big that's a big thing, man. Um, um, I don't think this generation. If I'm wrong, you know, maybe you know, give me a chance. You know, the um, I feel like the information is here. Just you know, as far as you know, um, uh, if you want to know it, What's up? you know, now knowing it and and applying it, you know, is two totally different things. Um, knowing it and you know the, the application comes from applying it because of from the applying it comes to understand it right. whether it's a negative or a positive right. but you know do you feel as if this generation has the information and when having the information that they are applying the information, the information do you feel like that you apply do you feel as if you are different from the generation today for sure so when I'm around the pe my peers, you know, I try to speak knowledge into them because they lost the knowledge, they lost souls. That's what I call them. They don't know themselves. So with that being said, I'm spiritual. So I, I get different connect from my higher power. And when I get them, I put it into the recipe of my peers. You feel me? And it seemed like shit from my recipe bouncing out to them, it didn't line them. You feel me? So. Wow. Wow. Very different. Yeah, my peers, shit, my generation got down lost souls. So they, they wild. It's a jungle out here, you feel me? It's wicked. So I still be safe, protected, and cautious at all time. But, you know, I still got a family to feed. So I got to do what I got to do. I definitely understand, man. I definitely understand. You know, it's just amazing how, you know, it's like you have a, uh, you know, a spirit of pop. If I had to put a face on, on your spirituality, man, just because of um, it's raw. You know what I'm saying? You know, and that's what's needed, man. You know, people, it's not it's not about the church or the building 
you know, it's about the church as being the spiritual connection that you speak about. You said you know? one word that just stuck out to me. Raw. Let me tell you about Cash Life. Let me tell you so, too, about it. So, with Cash Life, this shit raw. You feel me? This shit came upon my stepdad I was telling you about. My mama husband. So, he had a son. Dede, Cash Act, Cash Life Dede. So, man, I love my brother to death. You feel me? Like, I'm so glad God put that man into my life. Because it was so raw. You know, me... Me and him mean at eight years old, split apart into 11 years old, and then reconnecting back from 11 into today's date, it's still solid. That's good. And it made, you know, me connect with the other members in Cavs Life through him. You feel what I'm saying? And it made us just tighter. So it went none just, let's get at this table and what we gonna do. You feel what I'm saying? This shit was just raw. I came from, I ain't go to college. So, me come from Scottsdale, we like cat like cat like. So, it's like, shit, what the hell got down? We screaming this. Who got it? Nobody got it. So, I took initiative, you feel me? Paperwork, all that type shit. So, the shit can be stamped. Man, stamped. You feel me? Shit, on me, literally. Tatted it. Man, I tatted this shit before I even stamped it with these white folks. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it's like, Shit bigger than me, man. That's some good stuff, man. So you know, I, you know, I see, and you know, I've I've heard uh, a custom, a couple of um testimonies of, as far as from your brothers, man. As far as um cash life is concerned, man, and um they're all powerful. You know, what I'm saying you know all all the you know um the ground foundation that y'all speak, you know, is um different views, man. But it's, it, you know, it's felt, man. You know, what I'm saying you know it's just felt because I feel I feel genuine. I feel like it's genuine. Huh. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, I I I sometimes get so tired of speaking to people with costumes. Yeah. You know, I feel like this, you know, today it's a lot of costumes out here. That's right. You know, um, and it's like sometimes, you know, if they don't put their mask on straight enough, some days it'll slip a little bit. That's right. You know, I just ooh, you know, you know, how do you feel about today's, you know, uh, as far as like the, the realness of, of society as far as exactly. versus versus not even a time that you didn't live in. But how do you feel so about that, man? Today's this shit in you, you feel me? It ain't even what's on you. This shit got to be in you. So you gonna real, gonna recognize real. You gonna see this shit with your eyes and you gonna feel it and you gonna sense it. It's just simple as that. You feel what I'm saying? It's simple as that. And this world fake. But it's a certain people and it's a select few people it's real in this world. But this corrupted world, they got these folks fake. But know yourself. Once you know yourself, you'll be real. You feel me? You'll be real within yourself. You can be real with anybody when you're real within yourself. Wow, yeah. oh, man. You know, this is you know, this is coming from God, man. You know, you never reach 25 yet, right? Yeah, nah. Lord be the will this year, 25. Well, you, know, so, you, you know, and this is this is this is the balance, man, between, you know, uh what the world sees as good and and evil, you know, or wicked, you know, when you can, when you're comfortable in your own skin, you know, this is, that's the... <laughs> and let me tell you that, I'm glad you said that, uh, we're evil and good. I feel like I was wicked before I went juvenile. Once that shit, you feel me? Once I seen that, switched my whole life, went to my grandma way in the way, you feel me? And I've been me, exploration, ever since, so... Ever since that day, shit, I just moved different, bro. Because once they got your body, ain't too much you can do, goddamn. Because you need your body out here in this free world, especially when you got a family to provide. You know what I'm saying? Is that something, man? So, is that something? You know, this is, this is, this is, you know, I cannot make this up. This is not scripted, man. You know, this is, uh, it's refreshing. This is, sure. a, this is a refreshing thing because I have, you know, Two sons, sure. You know that two they're daughters. growing up, you know, and whole. And I ain't even got to my daughters. I'm I just got saying, two daughters. wow. At, at a young age, but you have a oh. a great vision. Married, yes sir. And married, yes sir. Man, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, come on. Hold on. I gotta take a second out just for cash life jewelry. Yes, sir, sir. This is this is this is this is something that that is not 
applauded enough. This is something that's not seen. This is this is rare footage. You know, if if you was a species in Africa, well, you'd be hunted. No, for real. <laughs> oh, come on, they get your head. <laughs> and that's why I've been so on? late, bro, because wow. I ain't put this shit on footage. It's like this shit been raw for so long. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, I ain't been fucking on that camera, bro. I ain't fuck with the camera. But it's like, shit, these folks can see this shit, cuz. Folks can see this shit. Right. Once they see this shit, man, they gonna feel this shit. They gonna hear this shit. And it's there. Come on. It's there. So it's more like a movie. So, 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 so. Exactly so, you know what I'm saying? You no, know, rebellion. You know what I'm saying? So, can I call, you know, you know, Cash Life June, aka Rebellion? You did. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because um, I'm definitely feeling, man, that you're not, you're not flowing with today's society. Hell no. You know what I'm saying? Although you look just like. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna get in where I fit in, now, for whoa, real. Whoa, whoa. For real. Wow. Wow. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. yeah. I'm definitely feeling this, man. You know, before, um, you know, get into some, uh, a couple of important questions to you, man. I just want you to know, man, it's been an honor, too. And I'm not even speaking about reclosing. It's just, I just want to take this time out to let you know, man, I salute you. For sure, I appreciate You know, when you, when you, when the people have children, bro, the foundation of, 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 of husband and wife, that, that, it says, you know, the word of God says this, you know, and I'm definitely a true believer. Um. A man who finds a wife finds favor. Man, hold on. It didn't say nothing about anything. It says finds favor in the sight of God. That's right. You know, this is something, man, that is, is, you know, when you speak on blessings and you speak on, you know, as soon as somebody get a check, or, you know, or they get a, a extra little $10 on a, oh, well, I got a bless, you know, or, or we touched talking about getting up every morning breathing. Yeah. I mean, you know, how many people get up in the morning and say, you know, I appreciate you. Right. Just for you know what I'm saying, just for let me wake up with a right mind. Thank you know you. what I'm saying? You know, it's it's so much that I think we miss. We miss the point. You know, it's not it's not telling you not to be your best in this life. But you first gotta get praise and do. You know, I mean do you right. I mean it's it, it, but it's not it's not seen, man. And when I'm looking at you, man, I'm like, wow. You know, this guy, man, you know, if I see you on the street, I'll I lock the car door and everything you came. I'm like, Bruh. I mean, I'm saying just because you got a hoodie on, and, but man, your whole spirit different, man. It's so, it's so, it's so different, bro. You know, and the other two brothers, man, that I, man, this is my hand. This is all my, this is all my life. From cash like cute to the other, the um, uh, Richie. And um, my, life. man, this is my man down low, man. Same spirit. Sure. That's why we. That, that that's what's so crazy. That's this, why it's wrong. You know, and, unless y'all talk to these young people, man, I'm speaking about, man, y'all won't even understand what I'm saying. It's the same vibe as y'all say in today's tongue. It's the same vibe, man. And it's hard to catch this, man. When you catch this thing with this cash like thing, man, support these guys. There's movements, man, up pure, bro. It's for community. Base movements, man. They in their community, man. They they are really trying to be a wrecking force, man. But it only can come with power. Comes with numbers. Get behind these young guys, man. Get behind these guys, man. These guys are making noise, man. I promise you, man. I promise you, the future is theirs. Listen, before we stop, man, um, and um, get on with life. I want to ask you a question. No, I want to give you a chance. You know, you might not have anybody, you know, it may be somebody. You know, this is a segment, you know what I'm saying, I'm trying to incorporate in my in my whole cast, all right? If you had a shot right now, whether living or dead, to apologize to anyone, anybody that may hold your blessing, may block your blessing, who would it be? May block my blessing. Hmm. Shit. I'm probably have to say my uh, my daddy, brother, my uncle. You feel me? This is a shot. I can hold him a lot, you know, and that's why I'm doing what I got to do so I can got down, give back. You feel me? You know exactly where I'm coming from. So. Okay, that's good stuff, man. You know, that's you know I feel like it's very very important for us, man. You know to you know to take time out some time, man. To, to apologize, you know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes I can't do it face to face, but you can just touch it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Or, you know, it's just to get that off your heart, to get that off your heart. Mm -hmm. 
Now, my second question to you is forgiveness. If there's anybody that you that you haven't given the opportunity to let them forgive you for or forgiveness in life, who would they be? I'm gonna get out of my wife. Through thick and thin, we always gonna be here. So, you know, ups and downs. Shit ain't no easy process. She's a roller coaster for real. So, my wife for sure. Definitely your wife. Strong woman. For wow. sure. Now I'll tell you, man, it's been a blessing, man. It's been great. You know, this has been, um, these podcasts right here, man, this information, man, is so important. You know, I take this platform, you know, to, not just for me. This is not about me. When I first started podcasting, I used to overdo Because I didn't get it. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I'm here, man, to catch guys like you, man, with that vibe, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, give you a shot, man, give you a chance to, you know, let the people feel how you feel. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You know, for these few moments, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I appreciate you coming on, man. You know, um, last forever, bro. if anybody want to follow you, you know, if you got anything coming up, um, give me an Instagram, give me, you know. Cash Life June on Instagram, uh, Cash Life Global, Cash Life Exclusive for the business page. Shit, man, the movement going up. So, yeah, we're going to stay down. We're going to go up with or without you. It's global, man. Man, I tell you, I'm impressed. That's what it is, bro. Thanks, sure. bro. All right. You know, I want to get this to you right here, man. Uh, family. Archie Santana, straight from it. Do you see what I see? Chew on it for a second. You know, life, man, comes at people in all kinds of ways, man. All different angles. Blessing along with curses. Do you see what I see? You can't. You can't play both sides of the fence. It's either you in or you out. But I guess you can only experience that if you've been in and you've been out. Right? I can't make you see what I see because you ain't walk where I walk. Communication. Key. There's a couple of keys in life, man. Communication. Honor. Not me. Not just what you, you know, honor your mother and your father, not honor yourself. Be able to face yourself in the mirror every morning. Do you see what I see? See, consistency is anything like, man. You got to be who you be every day. You got to stick every day being the same person. Drop your nuts. In all situations. Do you see what I see? Look, it's just words and thoughts, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's, you know, just with your heart and your spirit. You got to follow that spirit in your mind, bro. But I forgot, if you don't have that spirit, <laughs> I guess you can't follow it. You know, this has been another little slot with Archie Santana. I appreciate you. Peace. Love you.